All right. What's up, everybody? Um, name is Jeremiah Dorson. This is my homie, Monte. So um, as I said in the intro video today, we're going to be talking about what I believe is the downfall of the D the DCEU universe, like as far as just the movies, not the animated things and stuff like that, but just as far as like from Man of Steel all the way to the Snyder's cut of um, of the movies and things like that. So we just gonna hop right into it, man, and uh, kind of give our viewpoint of what we thought went wrong with it, some of the things we just fucking didn't like with it, and uh, just an all out overview of what we thought they could have did better, kind of like comparing it to how Marvel did theirs, which we both can, Marvel did their damn thing. Marvel did their motherfucking thing and shit like that. So um, ain't nothing to it, but to get into it, man, uh, I think we should start by, we should start by um, going down a list of how they, how they released them. Uh, I got it pulled up right here on my computer. It says that Man of Steel was released first, then it was um, Batman versus Superman, Dawn of Justice. Then it was uh, Suicide Squad, Wonder Woman, Justice League, Aquaman, Shazam, Birds of a Prey, which we're not going to be talking about because neither one of us has seen it. Um, I think that was Harley Quinn's movie. And then it was Wonder Woman 1984. And then um, this, uh, the Zack Snyder's cut of Justice League. And then... Most recently, Suicide Squad, but <clears throat> yeah, starting off with just how they wrote it out, like, I mean, J uh, Man of Steel came out in 2013, so in my opinion, like, okay, uh, I think Iron Man, Iron Man was the first uh, from the from the MCU to come out, so that came out in like 2008, yep. it came out in like 2008, and then by 2013, they were rolling because Thor came out in like 2011. Uh, Captain America came out a little bit earlier than that, and they were already in the main plot of what the MCU was coming out for. So I think that at this point in time when they released The Man of Steel is when they were starting fresh. Now, in my opinion, and this is just my opinion, I haven't talked to them about this, I think that they shouldn't have started fresh. You already had the Batman series you already had the Batman series, the Dark Knight, all, all those movies and stuff that it did so great. Like, so um, I know people's opinion might differ, but like, if you had to start somewhere, they should have started with something that we all knew about already. Like, you can't just jump in with Man of Steel and then go from that to Superman versus Batman. Like, my biggest issue with how they started it was like, okay. Marvel did their thing, and they started with Iron Man. And Iron Man was a good movie. Like, you can't start a series with a bad movie. Like, Man of Steel was just boring. It was just boring. Yeah, true. And it just, it's a Superman movie. Like, you got to have way more impact with a Superman movie, like, over Iron Man. Yeah. And it, it, it just started, it started off bad. So, I think that kind of, set them back from the jump and I think they should have never tried to follow in the footsteps of Marvel to begin with because by the time they had got they had got into rolling their movies out, they was already left in the dust. Type shit. So it's it's way too late. Like you might as well just focus on your own path and I think that's where they kind of where they messed up. Cause they could have made it back from a bad movie, but then they started to try to seem like they tried to feel the pressure and start to put bad movies out, and it was just like, you know, trap this. They Type shit. Trap this. Yeah. yeah. And I, to pick back off of that, it's like, it's like, Marvel, it seemed like, now I'm obviously, neither one of us have worked with Marvel or, you know what I'm saying, um, what the, the, the whole line of what the fuck, or we don't know what the fuck they had in mind when it came to how they wrote this thing out. I mean, they could have just been like, fuck it, let's release Iron Man, see how that do. Right. All right, well, that's the release of Iron Man 2, and then, well, we might as well just get the Avengers thing going, because anybody that has any any idea pre, uh, previous of the 2008 Iron Man knows about the, the whole Thanos saga and, you know, the Avengers and stuff like that. So I knew when, once they started releasing and started, you know, bringing the other people into it, oh, okay, 
it's going to be the big bads and stuff like that. I mean, I didn't know if it was going to end with Thanos until after, I think it was Avengers 1, they had Thanos at the end and said, what is it? I do it myself. Uh, yeah, finally, I do it myself, which was, yo, that motherfucker. Even though he was a little bit more purple. He, was, <laughs> he definitely was a different color. I think I, because they, but they switched them out. They switched that. That wasn't, that wasn't the, the, uh, the Thanos we saw in the first Avenger game when he was sitting on his throne and shit, mm -hmm. he wasn't the same. The, the same person didn't play him. Oh, okay. Yeah, so um, I believe y'all can fact check me if y'all if y'all need to. But nah, it's the the way they wrote it out. It was just like it seemed like it was so technically like sound. Like we have this, we have this. We're gonna introduce this character, and it, it all came down to them focusing on. Tony Stark at the beginning and having that be their kind of like lead that they like he led them into everything and everything else just started bracing the fuck off perfectly. Now, there were some movies that in, I think in my opinion were better than the other ones, yeah. but at the same point in time, everything was needed to make it from Iron Man, the first one, all the way up into Endgame and even now into like Loki and all, all the other things that they got coming out. They just kicking DC ass, really. It, it's because... It seemed like they didn't have a DC. It seemed like they didn't have a a, a real direction on which which way it was gonna go. Because if you were gonna start with the Justice League, okay, boom, start with the Justice League, and then break off into their individual movies about how they got here, how such and such got here. But they didn't do that. They started off individually, and then threw Batman and Superman together. That type of shit. And then do them all together, and then try to do some individual movies here and there, and it's just like you all over the place. Like Type shit. And and to 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 clarify that <clears throat> they had they had Man of Steel come out first in 2013. That's the Superman movie. Yeah, that's Superman, Man of Steel. Then they had Batman versus Superman in 2016. First off, there was a three year like what the fuck? Like is Man of Steel just his own shit? Like or like what's going on? And y'all gotta remember too, if they are, if they are chasing after, chasing after the the, the MCU with this shit, MCU by 2016 was already in like in like like mid stride on like kicking fucking ass. Like then after that, that the Suicide Squad, which in my opinion, like I'm not even gonna bring the Suicide Squad into this shit because. It really doesn't have. It doesn't tie in at this point. No. It don't tie into anything that happened with the Justice League or uh, with with um, any any of that stuff. But the next movie they had after Superman was going back to introduce Wonder Woman, and they introduced her, which in my opinion, Wonder Woman was the best movie of them all. Yeah. Like, I mean, I liked it that Snyder's cut, but like you were saying it's earlier, it's yeah, that motherfucker, that motherfucker. Years late. It's years too late. Like they just—it seemed like they kind of just threw it out there. It would have been much better if they would have—I don't know—try to shorten it down and put it in there at some point. But it's just—it's a four-hour-long movie. Like that's it. I mean, I think I think it was better. The Snyder Cut was definitely better than than um, just a regular Justice League. Yeah. Because the the regular Justice League, like that motherfucker, like it just seemed like they had somebody else's product and then just like was like okay fuck it we know how to edit we gonna edit this shit together it's already done let's just edit together and put it out there and then it's done like the Snyderverse is done as far as far as today it's done like and it's just like 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 it's like it's ass it's trash like it's fucking trash like and like I said like y'all see y'all see the poster bro I got the Marvel I got the the DC like I love DC like I said in in the intro video, like that's what we grew up on. Like we grew up on Superman and watching him in the, in the Justice League cartoons and stuff like that. Like we wasn't watching no Marvel. Like there was a there was some Hulk movies and stuff like growing up and stuff. And I know that one of them is uh, technically a part of the MCU. One of one of the Hulk movies. Yeah, the Incredible Hulk. The Incredible Hulk. But they kind of did the same thing they did with Thanos, but switch the characters and didn't. They really didn't tap into you know when you was rampaging back on what's name. They didn't refer back to it. You just had the host. I'm not sure which one, because it came out in 2008, so, so it might have, I'm not sure if it came before Iron Man or after Iron Man, but it was not really of relation to to, to that, like that, like the string of it, movies. Yeah, there. it was yeah. just kind of like inferred in, in, in later on, later movies, like 
that character was there. Like they knew he was out there somewhere. Type shit. But um, yeah, man, like that's just that's just the problem. It's it's just the problem with it, man. It like when when you break it down, you break it down the way that the way that they had the 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 concept. There, it almost seemed like there was no concept there. Like, how are you gonna have Justice League come out and we haven't seen an individual movie for what? We didn't get an individual movie before Justice League came out. We didn't get Aquaman. Justice League came out in 2017. Aquaman came out in 2018. So we didn't get Aquaman. We didn't get we didn't get um we didn't get uh the Flash, nor did we get Cyborg. So and we didn't get a Batman movie. Like and I, one thing I didn't like about DC is that it was I seen, it seemed like it was a little too dark. Like it was seemed like it was a little too dark for me. Like the Marvel the Marvel stuff, I mean we're gonna keep comparing it to Marvel because I mean it's the obvious comparison. And with Marvel, like it was superhero like and like you got Superman, you have Superman, the superhero. Like, yeah. And you can't give him a good movie. Like I like the I like the the cast, the casting in that one. But I hated Ben Affleck as Batman. Hated it. Absolutely hated it. <laughs> like once I saw that, I was pretty much done. Yeah. I was pretty much done because it was like he even said after a while, like if it, if the next movie didn't do too well, he was done. And then my, I'm thinking like, if he don't even like himself in there, why why would I like him? Yeah. Like, and it, I, cause I, everything else I like the casting up except except the the Flash. The Flash should have been a little bit older. And plus, I don't think they got the right the right um, pieces of the Justice League. Yeah. Like Cyborg and Flash. I mean, they got the main people: Batman. Wonder Woman and Superman, but like Cyborg Flash, that's cool, but like where's um where's Martian Manhunter? Exactly. Like where's Martian Manhunter? Like where's Shazam? And that's another thing, like they had Shazam movies. But he wasn't a part of the Justice League. Like and then it's like and then it's like, yo, speaking of the Flash, we just gonna go ahead and get this out here right now. Like we both agree on this shit, man. Like they did them dirt ball. Like the Flash ain't never like well as far as I remember like and you gotta you gotta think like we didn't grow up like really in the era of like going and we gonna go to the bookstore and we gonna go get comics and shit like that like <clears throat> if anybody did that at our age like when we were younger like you just that was your hobby like or your your parents did it before so like you went and you dug into their shit and found out oh 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 shit so we had the animated version the Flash was always he might have been like a, a fast talking dude. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and like with a little bit of like sass to him or something like that, yeah, but he ain't never been no fucking loser. Right. Like, no fucking dork. Like, he's like, he a goofy little kid. Like, like come on, bro. Like, like and, and he's supposed to, like, and he's supposed to be like real smart. Yeah, and let's start with the way he was running. Like, oh, God. I mean, he's swimming through. <laughs> like, he, he's swimming through. Yeah, it's what? Like, what is like. <laughs> Bro, man, like yo, when I when I first like when I first seen that shit, because the thing is, like, when Justice League came out, like I said, we did not have the Flash before, so we didn't know what the fuck to expect. So it's like it's like okay, the Flash gonna come in here, and and first first and foremost, you know, what I'm saying like I'm expecting some dude that's you know like uh, got a little shape to him, you know, what I'm saying probably probably about like six one six two, you know, what I'm saying like nice well put together dude that's gonna come out here and you know. I'm the Flash, you know what I'm saying? Yes, that's me. Bro, we get this door. This fucking loser, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and he up in his thing, and then you got Batman creeping up on him and shit like that. Then we see him for the first time run. And this dude take off, and he, like, uh, what's dude's name, bro? Uh, where's my super suit? Oh, Frozone. Frozone, you know how he used to. You know what? <laughs> you know how he used to, you know what I'm saying? Do the little thing, like, the Flash was running like that. And it's like, bro, like what? Like, bro, the Flash ain't never like been grabbing air and tossing them shits like, like, like nigga, like, what is what, what is that motion like, bro? That, that bro is trash. And from from like from all the Justice League stuff on it.